hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to design a music cover or you can call it an album cover or album art and i'm going to show you an effect called the double exposure effect which is what i used for this album art and all the assets and resources i used in this video are going to be provided in the description box below so feel free to download them and design along with me but before we get started i would like you to just like this video comment share to someone you think might need it and of course subscribe so without talking too much let's get right into the video so let's create a new file and i'm going to use a width of 1080 pixels and a height of 1080 pixels my resolution is 72 pixels per inch and you can leave the remaining, the remaining settings just the way it is so let's create now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in our model so yeah, the image is here, I've already removed the background as you can see, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the second image which is the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So we're going to reduce the opacity so we can see what we're doing and we'll see how to blend it into the picture perfectly, just the way we want it. Okay. okay, I think it's okay just like this. So well, we can now increase the opacity and then we can change the blending mode of the Eiffel Tower to screen or we can clip it to the model image. So we are going to create a layer max for the Eiffel Tower. So you come down here and click here and we've created a layer max. So you press B for brush. And make sure that your foreground color is set to black and you can see my flow is around 70 and my opacity is around 70 so i'm going to just softly brush to reveal some part of his face all right and i'm going to like hide these bottom parts of the eiffel tower I'm going to more of like reveal his shirt all right i'm just going to blend it in all right Alright, so let's reveal his face a little bit more. Alright. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to duplicate this Eiffel Tower. So you hold your alt and you drag it under the image. So we're going to delete this layer mark, just drag it to this delete icon. So what we are trying to do here is we will remove the blending mode and make it normal. Okay, we are trying to extend this Eiffel Tower uh, over his head. So you are going to go to select. Once you you selected the Eiffel Tower layer, the last one, go to select and go to subject. And it's going to select the subject for us. It's going to create a selection of just the Eiffel Tower. So let's wait for it to select. Now that it's selected, we can go and click on layer mask and now it has maxed out the selection as you can see, it has maxed it out. So all we are now going to do is, we are now going to erase the parts that we don't want. So click on your B for brush and then reduce, increase your opacity and your flow. Alright, so we are now going to clean out all the extra parts we don't want, right? So all we want is for it to extend over his head and we've achieved that all right so now we are going to go to the top we are going to create a solid color adjustment layer because i want to the hair is looking a little bit dim so you can see my color code here this is what the color code you use for the adjust for the solid color adjustment layer and you click on ok and you change it to i believe i used color born Right, change it to color bone okay and then you're going to click on the mask and press ctrl i to invert the mask okay click your b for your brush click your brush and then now we're going to just make sure your foreground color is white and then we're going to paint over the hair going to paint over the hair right 
so you can see the before and the after you can see that the hair is sharper the hair is a bit sharper let's also paint over the top of the Eiffel tower all right so now we're going to click on the first layer hold your shift and click on this last layer and do ctrl G press ctrl G I'm going to call it image so we've created our image now for our background let's ungroup this let's unlock it sorry and then let's bring in a texture let's bring in this texture All right so we're going to rotate it and then we're going to increase the size a bit all right so for this texture we are going to reduce the opacity a bit and let's reduce the fill all right i think it's okay so let's click on our first layer and click on the second layer while holding your shift press ctrl g and name it bg for background yeah. I'm going to click on the topmost layer. I'm going to actually add some textures to this image to make it stand out more. Alright. So for the first texture, um I think it's going to be this. Okay. What we are going to do is we are going to change it to screen and we are going to reduce the fill to SG something like 50 I will bring in another texture let's bring in this let's rotate it and then increase the size and then let's play around with the blending mode I think color bond is okay. We are going to try and reduce the fill a bit. All right, I think that's okay. Let's bring in our last texture, which is this. All right, let's increase the size. We'll change the blending mode to multiply. I'll reduce the opacity to let's reduce the fill a bit. Alright, so there we have it. So we're going to group these textures. I'll call it textures. <laughs> Alright. So now we've created the um the cover art. So we're just going to put the title of the song and the artist name. So I'm going to click on our text tool and I'm going to write Night in Paris N I G H T Night in Paris Click it, so I'm going to change the color to black. I'm going to reduce the line spacing to zero. I'm going to change the size to let's say 128. Let's change the fonts to not well. I'm also going to add these fonts in the description box. It's called not well. Alright. Alright. So we are going to centralize it. Align to canvas. Centralize it. Let's take it off a bit. But if you notice, it's not really looking like, it's, it's not really bold, if you zoom in, it's looking a bit faded, so what we are going to do is we are going to duplicate it. So I'm not going to duplicate it like 7 times, now it looks more bold. So let's just group all the things we duplicated and call it the title, that's the title of the song, Night in Paris. Then now we are going to write the artist's name. So his name is Tizo Blade. Tizo Blade or something like that. This time around we'll change the font to Poppins. Poppins regular will increase 
a line spacing to about 500. I'll change the color to white. I'll reduce the size to let's say 30. Alright, I'll position it down here. So one last thing we are going to do is we are going to bring in our tag parental advisory explicit content so if you have children so you know that you are not supposed to listen to this song or they should be careful about it all right so all that is left now is to fine tune this a little bit so we are going to click on ctrl shift alt e it will create a snapshot of all the layers it will merge it together and then you create you right click on that layer and you convert it to a smart object then you can now go to filter and go to camera raw filter now that we are in camera raw filter we are going to go to basic let's reduce the exposure a bit for the highlights uh, let's increase it a bit for the contrast let's increase it so you can just follow my settings Let's reduce the shadows to so like, I think minus 14 is okay. We can increase texture a lot. Alright. Um, let's increase clarity a bit, just a bit. Increase the haze. Okay. Um, Let's go to detail and we are going to increase sharpening to 100 and noise reduction to 100. You can see the effect is giving it. And finally, let's go to effects, increase green a bit and then vignettes minus 20, minus 26 is okay. So you can click on okay. And with that, you can clearly see that we've completed this cover art. You can see the before and after before we edited it. You can see the effect it makes. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, all the assets are provided in the description box. So do well to design along with me. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you want to watch any more tutorials that I have here, you can click on the videos that pop up on your screen. Thank you for watching.